Hey, what's up? A little what's on my work table update. This is a LP toy style. I call them checkers rockets because of the checker Purina pattern there on the sticker wrapped around it, which I'm trying not to get paint on. Uh, this was packaged up for a cake decoration set. And you can sort of see some of the yellow that the bottom part was molded into. Um, trying to keep the top clean except for the the windows bare I like I, I've gotten into this to this habit too where I like having some of the original plastic visible and uh, specifically thinking about you know, getting it into some little boxes there with a spaceman running around great stuff um, here's a pencil topper toy I don't know how old it is. I'm pretty sure it's at least 1970s. I had three of them that were identical, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna paint one. Um, just the the colored plastic that it was is is, is not was not interesting to me uh, as something to, to small. I decided I, I sort of wanted to go for like the little miniature spaceship look and uh, use some iridescent green light interference green apologies uh, on the, the cockpit I'm trying to do just a little bit of detailing and have it look like something that wouldn't be the painting for it to go into the colors are too excuse me too similar um, but I'm pleased with it so far what I'm less pleased with is my effort to paint these Cracker Jack spacemen. And I've, I've definitely shown the one on the right before. And I don't know how much frustration I've spoken with it. I think this one's just been overworked. The colors aren't that wrong. Although I'm, I'm, I'm not happy with the gold of the face. Uh, it's supposed to be two different shades of a silver. They're iridescent silver and iridescent graphite. Um, but there's just something about it that doesn't work. I used to have purple hair, too, or, or blue hair, like violet blue hair uh, for four years. I just went for it. Um, so that's supposed to be like a self-portrait image of, of sorts. And it, it's important for me to get it right. And it's just not... And then I, I tried painting this one, too. He, he had some wear. There's some of his original color there on the, the eye thing. So he was red and he's, he was all chewed up. Um, it doesn't look that awful on camera, but in person I'm just not, I don't know, I'm trying to use some uh, micaceous iron oxide on top of the uh, whatever iridescent silver or iridescent metallic that is to give the, the legs some texture. And my favorite paint right now is this iridescent pearl fine by Golden's fluid acrylic there's your information there on it uh, there's some on the gun Just, it, 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 and, and my rule with it is is that if your brush is actually wet with it you got too much you, I'm dry brushing this on sort of to give it give surf, certain surfaces a burnished sheen there's that word again burnished but there's something you know it these are, are I wish I had my uh, other Cracker Jack figures out but they're better unpainted I think uh, neither of these have been sprayed so it's it's not going to be hard to remove the acrylics I've just been trying to save it save the effort because I love the figures I love the Cracker Jack soft plastic spaceman 1958 they're that old um, and, and both of these again had play wear on them that was extensive enough to uh, warrant modifying them to go into uh, the space boxes and they are the perfect size pretty much at least for the 4x4s four um, and I did get some, some larger boxes I think the one on the top is more meant for planting price was right so I snagged it and there's another I think that's a six by four inch craft box and we're working on 
This is a Glencoe Models reissue of an Archer Spaceman 1952 design. Um, the actual figure was probably made in 1991 uh, from the original molds. They're, 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 they're still awesome. And it, everything that's on here right now, I think, except for the boots, is, is sort of underpainting. I'm going to go over a lot of it with the uh, iridescent pearl. I don't have any on there yet, but I was just sort of cleaning up some of his lines. And I got his boots have an outer layer of uh, micaceous iron oxide on it, so they, so they glitter. Thinking about that guy who used to play guitar for Slade. I can't think of his name right now, but he always had the most crazy space rocker costumes on. Uh, glam rock sort of dude. The gun is unfortunate. I'm coming to grips with the fact that there's going to be guns in my artwork because I'm not going to modify, you know, I'm not going to cut them off. And here, uh, uh, left and right, or right and left, on the right is a standard MPC 52 millimeter or 54 millimeter soft plastic spacemen. And then next to him is one of those weird, I think these are my favorite spacemen forms. Uh, the weird oversized copies who are unknown you know it was definitely the same designer working on the on on the two projects but it's just never going to be known who made these they're marked hong kong on uh, on the base and with that optical effect there of the of the half of a ken doll face or whatever they've got stuck in there it's just amazing to me i'm trying to keep him whoa Alive. I'm trying to keep his his painting minimal. I, I'm I'm going re to retain the original plastic color and just do some ornamentation of it. There's some of the pearl uh, on on the box, which I think was 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 with the bronze color, with some of the pearl over it. Um, and I don't know what he's going to be for. He's going to be for something very special, and I want I like that give the base a treatment that makes it look like, you know, maybe a jeweler had, had crafted it. And it's uh, acrylic uh, glass bead gel, micaceous iron oxide, acrylic. Uh, this one has some crackle paste on it. Not sure what he's going to be for, but uh, taking my time and enjoying just working the heck on some art in particular. I, the, the smaller figure I've been working on since maybe July, and and I it, let them take five months, and have them be the best they can, and we'll give these another shot, keep perfecting on that, and we'll check back later. Stay cool.